Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this episode of Video Adrenaline for Creative Cow. Today, we're going to explore layer comps over in Adobe Photoshop, and then I'll show you how easy it is to spit out multiple versions of your file to bring into Adobe After Effects. Let's go. Here I've been working on a lower third design for a client, and we've just gotten playing with some different options. We've got different colors and different type choices here that we're trying to decide between. And the cool thing is, is we could store all of these alternatives in one document. So if I go into the window menu, I could bring up the layer comps panel, and let's just tear this off and leave it floating. And I've already started to make some comps here. Notice that we've stored some different designs, and as we step through, different layers turn off and on, and in fact, objects can even move around. So what I'm going to do now is make some new layer comps to store in here. So let's just go ahead here, turn on the red layer, and maybe I decide I want to use a different font. I'll move that over, position it where I want, and then just click the new layer comp icon there and give it a name and tell it to memorize the visibility, position, and layer style. What this means is you could turn layers off and on, move them, or turn layer styles off and on like drop shadows or bevels. So these are the little fine adjustments you do as you're experimenting to find that perfect look. Works pretty well here and you can quickly store different options. So I'll go ahead and click OK and I've got that. And that looks good and we'll just make one more just so you get the idea. Let's go ahead and we'll go to the other font and we'll go ahead over here on the logo and we're going to turn off the bevel and we'll store that as red too. There we go. And as we step through there, you'll see that there's different options. Now in this particular case, I didn't remember to store the layer bevel style in the original one. So if I say, you know what, I want to update that, turn the bevel on, just click the refresh button here to store it. So as you go through different styles, if you decide you want an option or don't want an option, like on this one, I don't want the bevel, I could just click refresh and now as we step through you'll see that the bevels turned off and on we can actually move position visibility works very very well so pretty cool you want to send it to the client no problem file scripts layer comps to files and what you could do is spit out every single layer comp as a simple JPEG and then bundle those up into a PDF using Adobe Bridge like we've covered on past episodes or attach them to an email really really simple but how about they've picked one and now you want to take this to the next level not a problem let's hit cancel for a second and let's say they decided on this look and now you have to go ahead and build them out for every different person who works for the company piece of cake with this layer style chosen what we're going to do is go to the windows panel and go to history and i'm going to choose this option here to go ahead and create a new document from the current state. When I do that, a new document is open based on the one that I have. And that just gives me a fresh one to start over with. I'm going to go ahead and throw away all my other states here because I don't need them. And we'll just quickly clean up the document a little bit, getting rid of anything that we're not going to use. There we go. And if I want to get rid of layers down here, I could do that too. It's no big deal to just throw away a few things into the trash. Great. So now what we have is the logo, a text layer, the bar, and this background. Well, I don't actually want this background in the finished lower third because that's going to be live video. So I'll just toss that away. And what we're going to do now is quickly finish out the other names. So we'll just take this text layer here and we'll name it. In this case, I'll put the initials for the first person, which is TB. And I know that I need five different lower thirds. So I'll just duplicate that four more times. One, two, three, four. Just press Command or Control J to jump a copy. So there we go. Let's just turn that there. And we'll select this and we'll call this TB bar. And I'll click Refresh. Now I've got my first one. Go to the next text layer. Double click to load it. And we'll just type in the new names. There we go. Let's rename that layer so it's clear. Create a new layer state. 
go to the next one, and it's pretty simple. Rename, save, and it's not hard. You just have to go through and put the information in. In fact, I usually recommend copying and pasting directly from a text document from the client to cut down on mistakes. And the importance here is to just make a new layer comp for each one so you have those here. Name them however you want so it's perfectly clear. And there we go. We'll do our last one. Okay. Now, once you have all of that done, it's just a matter of writing these files out. Piece of cake. File, scripts, layer comps to files. What you can now do is choose a location. I usually make a fresh folder. Choose a file type. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a new name. So I'm just going to say name bar as a prefix, underscore, and make a Photoshop document, maximize compatibility, run. And what it's going to do now is store every single one of these as a separate Photoshop file. Tells you it's successful. We can switch on over to After Effects. Let's just double click and navigate out to those bars. Grab them. I'm going to tell those to come in as compositions if I wanted the layers intact, in fact. And click Open. And they all come in. And what you have now are live documents. So you can go ahead and animate the texture. You can go ahead and edit the font if you needed to over in After Effects. But all that work was done very quickly. And in fact, you've got one master file back over in Adobe Photoshop if you had to go back to it and make a global tweak and then regenerate these back out. So a very smooth workflow of using layer comps to cut down on some of the repetition when you're doing design as well as when you need to publish small variations on the same graphic over and over again. For Creative Cow, my name's Rich Harrington. I invite you to head on over to creativecow.net where you can check out the very active forums as well as the very informative Creative Cow magazine. Thanks again.